New at 10, a woman in San Jose is recovering tonight after contracting a bacterial infection from eating fish that she cooked at home. The 40-year-old mother became severely ill, and then doctors had to amputate all of her limbs to save her life. KTV South Bay reporter LaMonica Peters live tonight in San Jose with more from a Bay Area doctor who explains really the dangers here of this bacterial infection. LaMonica. Laura Barajas is still fighting to survive. A family spokesperson says that they're not ready to talk about it, but people should know about this rare bacterial infection. When it occurs, it can be devastating. Family friend Anna Messina created this GoFundMe page late last week, detailing what happened to 40-year-old Laura Barajas. The post says Barajas bought fish from a grocery store in San Jose and cooked it herself. The next day, she was admitted to a local hospital and diagnosed with Vibrio vonificus, a bacterial infection. About 20% of people who get really sick from it die, so it's, it's nothing to, to laugh at at all, but uh, fortunately, it's not common. Dr. John Schwartzberg teaches at UC Berkeley School of Public Health and is not involved in this case. Barajas has been hospitalized for over a month, and on September 13th, she had to have all four of her limbs removed to save her life. Generally speaking, the reason somebody has to have a limb amputated is that there's no longer a viable tissue. That is, you're no longer getting blood to that extremity. And so no matter what you do, the tissue's dead. On September 1st, the CDC issued a health advisory about Vibrio vonificus. It says about 200 people a year get a Vibrio infection, experiencing diarrhea, stomach cramping, vomiting, chills, and fever. The bacteria mainly live in salt waters on the East Coast and can be contracted through an open flesh wound or swallowing salt water. It can also be contracted by eating raw or undercooked seafood to make sure your food is cooked thoroughly through. That will kill the bacterium. Um, make, make sure that you're not exposing yourself or drinking any seawater. Of course, no one would do that intentionally. Um, it's also important to wash your hands very carefully after you've handled raw seafood. Now, Dr. Schwartzberg also said that using soap and water to wash your hands is sufficient after handling raw seafood. He also emphasized that these cases are rare, especially on the West Coast, but people should still take precautions. Julie, Mike. LaMonica Peters live tonight in San Jose. LaMonica, thank you.